and nine. See a Brett Favre record broken, or at least passed up on that list. He's still got Peyton Manning to get to, and I wouldn't be surprised if he got there eventually. Uh, we have Ian back with us this morning. Drew Brees lit it up again yesterday and on the road. Are the Saints about to add another target for him? It sounds like they are. Remember, there was so much fanfare last week, Kay, when Des Bryant officially signed with the Saints with someone who was going to come in and be the number two to Michael Thomas and really help kind of uh, kick this offense into another gear. Not that they need it, but whatever. Uh, and then, of course, he goes down with a torn Achilles in practice. And so what the Saints are doing today is they're bringing in the guy that they almost signed instead of Des Bryant. That is Brandon Marshall. He ex is expected to be in the building today in the Saints are going to try to sign him. That is what I'm told. And, and generally, when you have a 30-something receiver, a team that needs a receiver, bringing him in for a second time, this is expected to happen. I would be very surprised if the Saints leave today without Brandon Marshall on the roster. And uh, So then you do get the, the sort of sidekick to Thomas that you wanted, probably not in the, with the explosiveness that Brian had, uh, but you know someone who is certainly talented in different ways and someone who they hope can help their offense down the stretch. They add a veteran wide receiver. Appreciate you. Ian Rappaport will talk to you throughout the show right here on Good Morning Football. The Rams and the Saints advance. They've got two wins on Week 10. What was most impressive to you, Kyle? We love Todd Gurley, right? Todd Gurley is one of everybody's fantasy league. Incredible, incredible player. Every once in a while, we are reminded that the best player on the Los Angeles Rams is Aaron Donald. He's the guy. You, it's the darkroom mafia loves him. But every once in a while, you don't have to be a darkroom guy. <laughs> every once in a while, he comes out of the darkroom. Mm. He had two and a half sacks. That's great. There was a moment yesterday that blew my mind. And it was late in the game when Russell Wilson flipped it forward to avoid a sack and came a fumble. I'm going to watch. Russell's going to step up and just toss it. Aaron Donald's going to pick it up and start running around. Like Rod Woodson or D. That's a 290 pound man That's right awesome. there. I've never That's seen like Jerome Bettis, to be honest. Jerome Bettis, great, even in the same old Rams uniform. Donald is such a freak. I could not believe this play, of all things. Take the sacks and the pass rushes away. I will also say that at the end of this play and after the game, there were some major extracurriculars with Seahawks lineman Justin Britt. Uh, ugly stuff that I don't condone, but I will say this. As much as we talk about the Rams and they're fast and they're flashy, I don't think the word tough comes up very much. Mm. I don't think the phrase don't bleep with us comes up very much. Mm. It came up yesterday, and let me just say, Maybe it's in the playoffs. Maybe when it's Kamara and it's Ingram and it's Breeze, it's 99 who is going to stop them. Best player on the best team outside of the Saints. The yeah. And if you want to talk about toughness, I don't think the country really realizes just what that franchise went through the yep. past few days. We saw the Thousand Oaks uh, tragedy. That was horrendous. And then right off the heels of that, I could tell you that 75 different members of the Rams organizations, players, coaches, staff, had to leave their homes and evacuate Thursday or Friday. Among them, Jared Goff, Aaron Donald, Andrew Whitworth, Nikkel Roby Coleman, General Manager Les Snead, and Wade Phillips, all to leave their house, not knowing if their house is going to be upright when they come back out of this game. They win this game, and they do so, and they do so with the entire community around them. Every team needs to hit that little level of adversity. I hate making this about football because this is real lifetime stuff. But for them to find a way to focus on this game, come back from being down early and say, okay, well, for at least two, three hours, can we give our fans some entertainment? Somebody to take their minds off of that. And for us personally to do it, they got the job done. You want adversity? That's real adversity. That's not yeah. an injury to a player. That is serious life stuff. Yeah. The Rams finding a way to win and holding it down, I think that is so impressive. And I think that will only aid them as they move forward in this journey. I'm looking at that Saints offense and how you define – a connection between a quarterback and a wide receiver is the frequency in which you go to that wideout and how many catches he makes. And you look at Drew Brees playing unbelievable and what he does with Mike Thomas. The number in which the completion rate is, it's the same number as a radio station that's hard to dial in. It's 89.7. Mm. 89.7. Like when he, That's exactly what it is. Yeah. He went eight for eight. Threw the ball to him eight times. He catches it eight times. Gets in the end zone twice. You talked about it during the highlight. Mike Thomas is on a tear. And he's on a tear while they're searching for his number two. How many guys can play at this level when they're still looking for his running mate? That's like them just saying, hey, hey Batman, you need your utility belt, you need your bat car, Batmobile, the, the bat bike, you need everything, but you're not going to have Robin. You're not going to have him for a I'm while. I'm supposed to be the Joker. Yeah, yeah, we're still looking for your road dog. And he doesn't have a wingman. Obviously, he has these guys that play an unbelievable Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara, but I just have to appreciate Mike Thomas, and I say it all the time, take it for face value. 
They're playing great right now. We know that Drew Brees is a great quarterback. Mike Thomas is one of the young, great stars in this league. And if you're paying attention to what they're doing, they are doing something historical that doesn't happen every season. I love it. And there's something about the energy to me, I think, that is most <clears throat> impressive with the Saints. They have a coach who gets under people's skin, who's passionate on the sideline, in the locker room, clearly. Uh, and, you know, we saw Marcus Peters reacting to that. You have Mark Ingram. You'd think that this whole Des Bryant thing could be a distraction to this locker room. The media is all over it. He's there. He's not there. The injury happens. Not at all. They rolled and instead they like embraced the moment and like were such good teammates and just brothers in this thing. Mark Ingram tweeting this the night before the X still going up bro. It went up twice when he scored a touchdown at least twice. Those are the ones I saw and then Alvin Kamara did the same thing. So even just that there's just this attitude. You guys show the highlights. All the defensive players coming out to support Marcus who obviously was the punching bag for a while. All of those things just so show how much of an awesome team this is. And this was a bit of a trap game. I love that they stayed focused. They executed. They got it done. And I also love that they are now 5-0 and on the yeah. road. Mm -hmm. The last time the Saints were 5-0 and on the road, they won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And there were some questions about Des Bryant. Do coaches like him? Do organizations like mm -hmm. him? How do teammates feel about him and how he approaches the game? What does that say about how he's respected One by day they were the teammates. young generation of superstars? That's Ingram Kamara did that. You know, they do the tandem interviews after yeah. the game all the time, and they're peppered with these questions about why the act. You guys, not even one full practice here with us, and they're like, we just liked him. He fit in right away with us. He was one of our guys immediately. Everybody tries to define chemistry, and how the hell do you get it? I don't know how to define it. The Saints have the it. ultimate tribute. Drew Brees connected on 88% of his passes yesterday. Hey, Throw look at that. Throw it up, baby. Talk about Throw up the X. Talk about Amazing. it. Do they care? So Dez is still on the team. Yeah. Oh, and he and could he rehab there, and he's going to get a Super Bowl ring he if they win. Get a ring. He's wow. going to get the playoff bonus. Dez is part of the Saints. He's yeah. on the Saints. I like that you brought that up because I think that there is a narrative as a fan that you see. I don't know. What is, how's Dez going to fit? What is Dez? And that was like disproved immediately during that.